I was at the family reunion, but I don't know any of these people, and it wasn't my family. Oh, so, no, don't do that, because oh, I got one like that. I got a story like that. Oh, no. <laughs> but seriously, no, I wandered into a wedding reception once. <laughs> yeah. These are black people. <laughs> yeah, that's a long one. I don't want to remember that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Came here for the three hamburgers. <laughs> ah, the hamburgers, you, yes. You've heard that one, haven't you? I have not heard the hamburger story. I think you probably have. It's been a really long time. Okay. Um, because I, in the, what is it, the middle eight, 90s, I, I was not experimenting with drugs. Mm-hmm. I was into fairly high-scale research. Yeah. Um, there, there, was, there was a lot of drugs. Yeah. To the point where... More um, early 90s. To the point where I was, very, at the time... <laughs> Loosely considering uh, making a vocation. Uh, and it's a weird thing, because I was really kind of partying with freaks back then. Yeah. The, they consumed my weekends. And then the weekdays, I had this really stodgy office job. Uh, and I kept thinking, at both instances, that I was split into two people. And all I'd have to do for one of these lives to simply cease to exist is just not show up. It's like Neo from The Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I remember having this thought uh, moments before not, not losing consciousness. And I don't like to call it blacking out. I like to call it time travel. Mm. <laughs> I was having that thought sitting in, in somebody's apartment with a, just a fistful of white water acid in me. Uh, among other, you know, Alcohol things. I, I was never patient enough just to wait for the high to kick in. Right. I would always start drinking too. Which is not no, good. It's just a bad <laughs> not idea. good to do. I'm a cautionary tale. And was, I like to think of myself as a moral stop sign. Stop here. Beyond this, there is no good thing. Go no further. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm in some of the apartment. I think it was selling them something or maybe even buying something. I don't remember. Uh, and I snap out of it. I'm on the floor of an apartment somewhere in South Houston. And I realize that all the people that are either coming down or unconscious around me, I don't know any of them. I'm, I'm, I'm alone here. And when I say stopped out of it, I didn't sober up. I just regained cognizance enough to realize I got to get the hell out of here. So I stumbled out into the, in the parking lot and with some effort found my car and shoes in that order. Car, then the shoe. Yeah. You know, I got behind the wheel, and I start up, and I figure out basically how to get home. Point in the right direction. Uh, fortunately for me, living in Texas City, if I can find 45 going south, that goes home. It's like a funnel. <laughs> Doesn't lead me back. A couple of minutes on the freeway, and I realize I have no right to be here. I'm going to hurt someone. I should not be. No, it was a terrible idea. It's just I can't <laughs> stop here and I can't go back. But okay, thinking like a drinker. I'm going to pull off the road, get some caffeine and something and then soak up the alcohol in my system. Not realizing, of course, that the acid is not in my bloodstream or my stomach. It's in my brain. <laughs> and it's not going anywhere. By the time I actually pull up to a jack-in-the-box... And uh, and in front of the, uh, the the ordering window, uh, I'm well out of my head, and it's the it's the classic ordering window speaker. So the guy says, <laughs> and I'm kind of freaking out. And before I can calm down, I'm not there anymore. I'm further along in the line, and I don't, I don't remember what happened, but I'm coming up on a window. And it's, okay, they're going to want money. So I fished out my wallet and pulled it up, uh, and the the markings on the bills make no sense to me. No idea what they are. So I kind of guess. <laughs> Pull up the window and just... <laughs> I hand him a fistful of bills of some nature. He takes them, and I think something was given back to me chain-wise. So it's through the throw that and see what's like. And then he, he gives me an order. And... Uh, <laughs> It's a lot. <laughs> There's bags. And, and I guess it might have been a distortion in my head, but it's just bags and bags. Oh, no. 
I have no idea what I've done. And I'm starting to freak out a little bit because I've got to go back on, on the road. It's the last bag I grab it. And I go to put it in the seat. And I swear to God, I'm sitting in the passenger seat and take the bag from me. And I look over there like that. Just terror. And the other self's like, So white knuckles, eyes brought I ease out in the freeway, in the slow lane, going as calmly as I can, freaking out because he's still there. <laughs> you can see him in the corner of my eye. And God help me, he starts talking to me. And he says, Look, you, you need to calm down. So here's what I want you to do. Calm but structured, you, you gotta think. So I want you to tell me a story. And you tell me a story. Beginning, middle, and end, you get a hamburger. <laughs> and that is how I made it back to Texas City. And I managed to, in the course of the night, tell three stories. At the end of each one of them, I got a hamburger and ate it. <laughs> really? It really happened. And one of those instances, I really gauged that one, one of those instances, I should have died. Oh, yeah. I should have died in a fiery crash, probably taking innocents along with me. You know, the, I gotta say though, having said that, there is one of those weird deals where I, I guess it sort of depends on the person too. You will sort of step outside of yourself to calm yourself down. I mean, it doesn't always happen. I don't guess it doesn't happen to everybody I know, but said things sort of happen to me. And I'll give a very short version. But uh, the first and only time that I had ever done mushrooms. Yes, kids, I've done mushrooms. Uh, Easily 1999, with some friends and a big party situation. There's a story there. I could tell it if there were time, but, you know, this card only has hours and hours you, worth of memory on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but at this one point in the night, <clears throat> I had that thought pop into my head. And I was sitting, you know, in table, couch. I was comfortable. But I had that thought. I'd never done this before. And I had that thought. Oh man, what if I want this to end? I don't have any control over it and I can't make it end. This is going to go on and I started freaking out on that. But somehow I look up and I'm across from me and I'm going, dude, dude, hey, dude, stop that. Relax. You're fine. You're right. You don't have any control of this, but you're comfortable. You're around people that you like. You might as well just enjoy it. And I was like, all right, me. You're making sense, me. Okay. <laughs> and I said, stop calling me me. Just enjoy the okay, me. And I, and I did. Uh, you know, it's weird. It's funny that you say that. Because I think most people <clears throat> don't have anything like this because they don't have the level of internal dialogue that we do. Maybe not. I mean, you can't think about it when, like I've narrated a situation in my head. Yeah. And I... This is something that I brought up in a, a writing exercise. I have a sounding board. When I was when I was younger, I didn't like talking to people. I I, I spoke with a stutter. I was, I was very uh, in my own head, even um, you know, misanthropic. I didn't really feel like I thought or felt like other people. I, didn't, I was always scared that if I said something, it would be misconstrued as crazy. And uh, regardless, I, I tended not to, to say anything. But I was very interested in how to say something. It wasn't something I was sure I knew how to do. Words were very important to me from the very beginning. So I developed a sort of second personality, a sounding board. Somebody that would say things to, and it would criticize it. What works, what doesn't, what that doesn't sound right. And it's been with me most of my life. And I'm sort of a devil's advocate. And it's still there every now and again. I'll find myself talking out loud in the, the whole Gollum two voices thing. <laughs> I've experienced this. God help you if somebody walks in here. Because the only experience most people have with that is the Gollum two voices thing. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> Having known you, I've experienced that. Having known you, I just kind of, oh, he's just yeah. killing himself out. Or talking himself out of something. Right. Well, I used to do this too with like uh, Christians I didn't like, <clears throat> which was most of them back then. Especially young people. Somebody especially walked up there and, and like had some thing they wanted to say about the religion. It's like, I've got coats over me. You don't know what you're talking about. Emphatic. and, and Yeah. 
So I'll let that guy take over and just say, well, you don't see me in the, the tenets of the Church of Satan. <laughs> and you know, and I can't, I'm not that big into it, but I can list off about five or ten of the, the tenets. You know, and I can speak intelligently on that. It's very important. Always be able to speak intelligently on any topic, even if it's Satanism. Because I used to like to, well, he did, my sounding board, is the devil's advocate. He likes to see if your beliefs are strong enough to withstand an argument. Mm -hmm. And most people don't think that way, so they're not. So, hallucinating yourself in the car seat next to you is probably a good thing. And plus, that's just (laughs) inoffensive. That's just, you know, you yourself as a person reading Mm -hmm. other stuff so that you store those little nuggets in there. In the words of Hans Gruber from Die Hard, benefits of a classic education. Right. <laughs> you can just use it in moments like this. And, and you know, since it got you here, it is something I always wanted to film. The Three Hamburger Drive is what I call it. Yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah, I remember two of the stories. I can't remember the third one. The, the middle one. I remember the first one and the last one. Oh, wow. I should do Hey, very short. <laughs>